Hello and welcome. I want to start off with apologising. For the last two weeks I've, I have been ill. So all, all the people that sent messages and I haven't got back to, I'm not ignoring you. I have been ill and I will get back to what you sent. So I do want to say sorry. And before I got ill, I was talking to a gentleman about lab and about converting a image into lab and that's what this video is off to be about so to get started I am going to open up the image I'll go to file and come down to open and open up the image what I got off Pixel Bay I will put the link to the image in the description and as you can see when we open it up it's not a raw file it is already been converted to RGB 8-bit, as you can see from up here. But with Lab, Lab's got a bigger spectrum of colours than RGB. So, to make the most out of Lab, what we need to do is change this from sRGB. So, to do that, we go into the Develop Persona, and we come over and make sure on our panel on the right hand side that we've got basic opened up and come down to profile and then as you can see it's srgb if we just open that up and come up from srgb you'll see rom rgb if we click that what that will do is it will convert the image from srgb to rom RGB that is 16 bit so it gives us a better quality with the image that we're working with so once you've got the same sense as me if you just click on develop it will take us back into the photo persona and as you can now see it's now ROM RGB now now it's ROM we need to convert the image to lab so if we go up to document and click convert format slash ICC profile and click on that where it was 8 bit before it's now RGB 16 bit so if we click that and come down to lab 16 and you should get the same one as me highlighted CIE lab D50 and convert and what lab is actually if we go back and we go to RGB RGB if you think of maths RGB pluses the red greens and blues CMYK minuses the colors and lab separates the colors it separates the lightness from the actual colors and lab actually stands for International Commission on illumination it is a mouthful so i am happy to cut it down to lab so i'm not going to go over on how everything works but i am going to show you the actual different parts of it so if we come to our adjustments panel it's the little round circle that's half shaded in and click on it and we go to curves and we change it from master down to lightness we've only going to target the lightness inside of the photo that we've got so we make a dot on the line and just drag it down we'll make the light part darker and if we do another one up here we can make the other light parts even lighter so we can split the light into two different parts or as many parts as what you like so say we put in a third dot here we could fetch that down where it's normally in the mid tones and fetch that down to make that bit darker and we can also target certain parts so if we make sure we've got channel selection and make sure we've got our background highlighted you should see background lightness what we can do is right click on that and click create clipping mask 
And what's that done? It's took all the lightness from the image and, and put it into a mask. So what we need to do now is come down to the light in the checkered board in the bottom of our panel, layers panel, and add a new pixel layer. Then if we click our mask and introduce it to the pixel layer, so you get the little blue bar at the bottom and just drop it in. So now the pixel layer is masked out the lightness, what we've just done. And if we go over to our brush tool, we can paint that back in by making sure we've got white selected and the hardness is on zero. If yours isn't on zero, just drop it down to zero or you can move it up or down, but I'm going to have mine on zero. Now, if we make sure we've got our pixel layer selected, and I'm just going to paint on this part here. As you can see right now, it is too light, but we can change that. And what I'm going to do to change that is I'm going to change the blend mode down to soft light. And then to get even more control over it, we can control it with the opacity. We can go down to make the lightness inside of that part of the image darker, or we can fetch it up. That's how we're only controlling the light. We're not affecting any of the colors within the image. To affect the colors, we've got pixel A opponent and pixel B opponent. Well, there's two differences between them two. The A pixel opponent targets the reds and greens, and the B opponent targets the blue and yellow colors. I'll just show you a quick sample. If we was to go to pixel A opponent and click a, that's wrong. Make sure you've got your background selected first. It does help. And right click and then click create grayscale. You can see all the reds and greens that it's affected. So if we close that off and we go down to the B opponent and click, oh, I've done it again. Make sure you've got background selected and click on the B opponent and create grayscale. And you can see the difference between them both because the B is only affecting the blues and the yellows. So we put on A, that's A and that's B. And there is a difference between them both on whichever part you want to target. And lab is great for doing a cast, like a overcast with your colors. And that's it for this. I could go on a lot more and show you how each one works and how to target certain parts, but the video would go on for a long time because lab of its spectrum, you can change a little bit and make a big difference. So I am going to cut this video here. If it has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.